It's an incredibly important and powerful thing that you're Greg doing. Greg Kielberger. Thank you, Mark Kielberger. And Mark Kielberger, thank you so much. Thank for you. Time. I was so impassioned, both of you, and now this has become your life's work. Hi, my name is Mark Kielberger. And my name is Craig Kielberger. We're brothers and the co-founders of the WE movement. When we were just kids, we set up a tiny nonprofit, and over the past 20 years, it's now grown into the world's largest charity on Facebook. Millions of youth involved in the organization, and over a million beneficiaries around the world with clean water, health, and education. Over the course of growing this nonprofit, we had some pretty amazing mentors, and we want to share this with you through a rather unique format. This is a choose your own speech. You heard me right. No two speeches are alike. We'll be filling the screen with name after name, dozens and dozens and dozens of inspiring world leaders that we've all had the honor to spend time with and learn from. And the audience gets to pick the name. And when we do, we'll share with you videos, images, behind the scenes stories, and a clear takeaway lesson that's applicable from the boardroom to your own life. This speech resonates whether you're building strong leaders or building your culture driving sales or just driving change, or preparing for the workforce of the future. Over 20 years ago, I read a story that inspired me to start a children's charity, never imagining that that would take me from the suburbs to Oprah's couch, to now building an organization with an incredible team that's active in 12 countries around the world. And over the course of this journey, it's taught me that anyone can change the world. Let me see a vote. Should we, should we give her Malala? Yeah. Yes? Okay, Malala it is. Who wants Muhammad Ali? Who's a fan of Oprah? I love it. She is Oprah, the person we all love and adore on television, but she's also Oprah, the business leader. An incredibly astute lady. And to do good, we have to do it well. What do you ask Nelson Mandela when you meet him? So my brother and I asked him, what is your philosophy on leadership? He reflected on his childhood. A moment when as a young boy, he thought his future was to be a shepherd. His family watched as this young boy, maybe five, six years old, unlatched gates, ready to lead the goat and the sheep as a shepherd would out to the pastures. Mandela threw open the gate, turned around, started to march ahead, and then turned back to realize that no one told them that he was the leader. And he remembers shouting at them, berating them. And finally it dawned on him. If he was going to convince them to move, he had to go behind them. He had to gently bring them forward. If anyone watched from afar, it would look like the goats and the sheep were leading Nelson Mandela as he was following along. But in reality, of course, he was leading them. But in that moment, he realized, he said, his most profound lesson on leadership, that the greatest leaders lead their flock from behind. So one of the greatest lessons I ever learned was from Arun Gandhi, who's Mahatma Gandhi's grandson. And he asked his grandfather, how do you know that we're going to win against the British? So Gandhi turned to his grandson and handed him one of his school pencils. And he said, can you break that pencil? Gandhi smiled and handed two pencils. I think that we could add a few more and then a few more. Okay. You got to give it a go. Okay, you got to cheer on, cheer on. Let's hear this. So when Gandhi turned to his grandson, the grandson said, but I could break one so easily. Two was hard, three was impossible. Because when they're together, they're unbreakable. It's the lesson in any company, any movement, any family. When we come together, we are unbreakable. Looking at the way um, he and his brother relate to people, and they're, they're always draw drawing out the best starting from the age of 12, to show what entrepreneurship is all about. Uh, whether it's in philanthropy or in commerce, it's about meeting the needs and wants of other people. It was incredibly inspiring, and the opportunity to help shape the content was unlike anything I've ever had a chance to participate in. 